Hey, it's uh, Tucker time in the middle of nowhere. What in are the we? Middle of the desert. What are we doing here, Austin? We're here in Arizona. Cause now everything's open because there's no Rona. <laughs> You're about four years late on that. It's Arizona. We're here in the desert. Turn the camera around to get a beautiful panoramic right, let's shot take a look of the here. desert. Yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. Off the 10 freeway. Poisonous snakes and insects in the area. Wow. Where are we and what are we doing? I don't know where the hell we are, to be honest. What a nice rest stop. A very nice okay, rest Okay, can stop. I make a comment about the restrooms? I don't know if it was the same Stay for clean. you guys. Well, I was going to say that the stalls are not real stalls. Like, they're little tiny doors. Yeah, they're stalls. So, but it freaks me out because like my head peeks over. So to me, I'm like, anyone could just like take a little peek. I didn't like that. That made me very. Hello. So this is a beautiful 1990s rest stop. You can see the colors, the teal blue with the pinks. It's very 1990s. But even though that is very nice, it's aesthetically pleasing, Arizona has grown a lot since the 90s. It's the fastest growing state. And this map does not contain two entire cities that we are traveling to, located here and here. The cities of Bu Buckeye and Goodyear are right here. They were established in 2000. They're the fastest growing cities in America, and each of them has over 100,000 people. So there's nearly 300,000 people, over a quarter million of a people, the state of Arizona does not think exists. We're staying here on Mesa. This map is very outdated. I think the state of Arizona should update it. Austin found a red box in the middle of nowhere. Are you are you looking for movies? Yeah. Isn't there a blockbuster around here? They got Onward, which I've never seen before. Barbie. You see any Owen Wilson movies? Wow. I love that he's uh, under the screen. We just pulled into Terribles, oh, yeah. and Ryder has found the Holy Grail. It's the oh. shake machine, yes. It's the shake machine, and it works. It's been years. It's like, I was gonna make you cut back to those footage, but that's too much work. Over here, over here, follow. Mom, they have it. They have this. this is the best. I get this every Vegas trip going into Vegas. It's such good coffee. It's such good coffee. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my god. Oh, it's going up and in. Oh my god. All right, we'll come back to see the finished product. A few moments later. And? It's the best thing I've ever tasted in my life. It really is. Let's look at the label. Oh, look at it. The chocolate chill. I'm so All happy. Right. Austin, we've arrived at, at our first destination. The best place ever. The best place in the whole world. It makes the whole road trip worth it. The brass. It only took six oh, hours to get here. Worth every bit of road. This place is amazing. I'm just, I, it's 40 bucks. That's a great deal for both those figures. Two figures. Yeah. That's a good deal. Han Solo, who you got there? I just call a dog. He belongs in a museum. There's a Lando, too. Right, I guess some of the Iron Man 1 tie-in toys.
these aisles. Liminal. Which, which bear do you like in here, Ryder? I think my favorite's this one in the suspenders with the little pants. The topless one? Okay, you made it weird. You no, I didn't, he's, he's, uh, he's clearly topless with just the suspenders covering what would be his nipples. Why would he have nipples in the first place? He's a bear. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? <laughs> it's a lot to see in each case. You really gotta give it the close. What do you got there? We, we have a first purchase of the Arizona. We're gonna buy this little dude from Lost in Space. He's got these little hands and he goes, hello there, this this is a stick up. I think he might be from <laughs> Long John Silver's. Mm, mm, and it's uh, Matt LeBlanc from Friends. But of course they didn't get likeness rights. This is, this is the movie where he doesn't say that line about ribs that we're totally convinced he says about ribs. On our Owen Wilson video, I searched for about two hours for that clip. Well, Austin and I said it so much that we just like totally convinced ourselves that it's in the movie just to find out it's not in the movie at all. And what's the movie called? Are You Here? But it was also released some places as You, you are, are Here. here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, hello. Jesus, it wasn't even warm. I wasn't warned. Rachel has found the shortcake house. I got rid of mine, but I've never seen one this complete. It even has the dome and all the outside awning. It has the mailbox. Oh my God. Wow. What is that? Remember, I have the Barry house, but it's look, beautiful. It, has it looks the dome. It never been played with. Look it. On the front porch is the mailbox. Wow. And now it has the furniture and everything, and it's two hundred and fifty dollars, which is with the price of just the on yeah. are. It's amazing, and it's not even. You know how most of these have the they're like a light pink because they're so it's faded. It's faded, yeah. It has everything. Rachel has found a doll she doesn't have. She's missing Captain so America and Iron Man. Wait, she has Iron Man. Oh, Black Panther. So I have Iron Man and I have Black Widow. I don't have Spider Gwen. Black Panther's the rarest of them. And then I also don't have this one. Mm. Wait, it's going in the cart. I need her. We can't have the strawberry shortcake house. This is the cart.
two, please. And shut the doors. Mm -hmm. so. This. This is something. This is the most antique thing. This is like when your mom and I were kids, we go to the department store. This is exactly what we would ride in in the department store. I don't know why our kids can also drive elevators. Oh, look, I'm getting out. found these mega like movie scenes wow. dolls put in movie scenes oh they're porcelain porcelain's the kiss of death it's the limited edition the le's the 18 inch le's isn't she gorgeous you know like my little mermaid they're limited to 5,000. oh my gosh all right, all right, what'd you find? Oh, I just found something great. It is a set of Shrek promotional school supplies. Look at this ruler. The lenticula is really good on that. The greatest fairy tale never told, which I think was its original tagline when they were marketing it around 2000. Yeah, this is early C. Shrek, May 2001. But my favorite piece in here is that eraser. Like, who kept that eraser in that condition? This it's is been the, a good trip so far. This is a great I can't find. wait for the big haul at the end when you describe all this, this stuff. This is a great find. I'm going to put it right look. Oh, wait, Rachel <laughs> can't get up oh, over no. here. Are you all right, ma'am? <laughs> I got down the floor because and everybody was busy, and I didn't want to say anything because you're filming, but I'm okay now. Look, look what I found, Mom. What would you find? It's a whole bag of vintage Shrek school spots. Oh, that's so cool. A racer. Look at this. Yeah. It's a ruler, pen. I found that. What'd you find, a doll? Who is it? Yeah, number 44, Trudy Me. She's my favorite. She has those ringlet curls and she's got the green eyes. She's so pretty. Let me see who the other one is. Oh, she's an early Trudy Me. 22, maybe? Just like you, because she's, when AG is just like you instead of Trudy Me, so it was before that. 50 bucks each of them is pretty fair. They need some love, but they're fixable. But this is really rare. Sixty four ninety nine, and they know it. Wow. Wow. All right, we're checking into our room, but this is what I bought. I bought this spaceman from Lost in Space. I think he's from Long John Silver's. When you're lost in space, no one can hear your stomach growl. Lost in Space collectibles have landed at Long John Silver's. Hunger, hunger. Get all four Lost in Space collectible toys starting at just $2.29 each. I am not a toy. I am a robot. And get our Lost in Space fish and chip special with new crispy waffle fries for just $1.99. Hurry, these toys won't be on Earth very long. Danger, danger. Limited time offer. I am so cool. An R2 unit, because I always buy these R2-D2s. And I bought this dragon, and I don't know what this dragon's from, so... I gotta do some research and figure out what it is. And the, the man can ride on the dragon, see? It's a whole thing and he can take his robot with him. So, there you go. All right, I got Vanishing Point on DVD. This is actually rare, it's about $20, $25. Invention of Lying, a blockbuster former rental. I mean, look at Ricky Gervais. Does he ever really look like that? He's so airbrushed. And then, uh, I don't know what this is but it was 50 cents and it's signed by the comedian. It's uh, Kwame World. Yeah, yeah, how's it doing tonight, y'all? Feeling good, everybody? What did you get? Um, I got some good movies here. I got Are You Here, which is actually not a good movie, but Owen Wilson's in it, so I have but to it's part of your it. set. Um, I got another copy of Night at the Museum because my current copy of Night at the Museum pauses at 52 minutes in and doesn't restart. Like, you can't unpause it. I don't know why it What's the last that. thing you see in that other movie before it pauses? The last thing you see is Owen Wilson as a cowboy. Tiny little Owen <laughs> Wilson. Um, so, I got a new copy of Night at the Museum that hopefully won't do that. Um, I got a movie called How Do You Know, which we technically already own, but we own it on Blu-ray, and I don't like Blu-rays. I think they're ugly. So now I have it on DVD. This is a very odd movie where Owen Wilson plays a baseball player, and Paul Rudd is like a businessman. 
I don't know. Um, and then we also got this this Will Ferrell movie where he hosts a big old yard sale because we watched the trailer like just recently and it looked really good and Dad didn't own it, so now we own it. All right. We'll check in with your mom and Austin. All right, we check in now with Rachel on this side of the room. Hello, this is my display. I went to the brass armadillo and got this cute reusable bag. Which you wouldn't allow them to use. No, I will say that it's my souvenir. Oh, I brought you a little souvenir. It's a I souvenir, but eventually it has to be used as yeah. a bag. Okay. Eventually. My best thing was I got another one of the Marvel fangirls. I got the one that is supposed to be Captain America. I already have Iron Man and Black Widow. So now I'm only missing the Spider-Gwen and the Black Panther. Spider-Gwen I'll probably find, but Black Panther is extremely rare. Ain't happening. Um, but anyways, I love those. And then I got a Maxi doll by Hasbro. High school days, hey there. Who's that girl with the beautiful hair? Looking smart. Perfect prom Maxi sold separately with a scented necklace. It was Hasbro's version of Barbie doll I made it. And then I got a little Peppermint Kelly Kelly doll from Barbie. Why would she, you buy that? Because I have I collect all the Christmas Barbies and I think she'll look really cute next to it. She's also an ornament for your tree if you want to put on. The oh, tree. I yes. can't decide yet. I would like to and hang her the on the tree. And I got the new miniverse, the Make It miniverse, which you use resin to make it a little miniature that's in scale with Barbie dolls. And it's the Valentine theme. So I think I got the one that you make Valentine cookies and then you can pose your All dolls. right. Well, that's quite the haul. That's quite the haul. We'll find Austin. Hello and welcome to my haul pile. I went a little overboard, but how often do you go to a single, one single place and find so much stuff that is tailored to your interests? I would say the highlight and probably my favorite find is the Puss in Boots The Last Wish build a bear. This was the only piece of merchandise they made for this movie. And this is a pretty rare bear. Uh, they had a limited stock of these, they quickly sold out, and it goes for about $70 to $100. I got a little bunny plush. I got this amazing Zootopia knockoff horse. I mean, if you have this, you got that. You carry this around. Are you gonna keep your phone in that? I, I should. I should. I love that. Like they gave him little arms and legs. Such a nice touch. That is. That is just great. Okay. Uh, I got a lot of DVDs. Oh, uh, we're, we're, hold on. We're there. We go. We're back. Okay. I, I got a lot of DVDs of mostly crud. Because the Ice Age movies are not the best movies, but. I couldn't resist this matching lenticular set. And these are actually owned by Disney now, so they don't even make Ice Age anymore. Like, you can't find these anywhere, so that's why I picked them up. I got this bizarre Olive Oil and Company release. It comes with like this back to school activity kit, which technically means it's a steelbook, right? <laughs> yeah. And, right? I just like this big case it came in. That'll look really nice on the shelf. And it is the Olive Oil and Company anniversary edition which had a pretty limited run and is a lot, it's a, it's a better transform than the regular edition of the movie. Uh, what else did I get? I got this Shock Tail drinking straw. I got this whole bag of Shrek promotional items, including a magnet, pins, a razor, ruler. I mean, this, this is some pretty great stuff right here. Stuff like this is rare because kids used it and threw it away. Like, who kept the Shrek eraser? How odd. And then I also got these action figures from All Dogs Go to Heaven. One of my favorite animated oh, movies ever. We, we have uh, Bolt Reynolds and this lady, and I think this is Bl Bolt Reynolds' wife. It's Lonnie Anderson? Yes, it's Lonnie Anderson in the film. So, there they are. And that. Do you want to explain hedgehogs? Uh, I've never heard of this, but I bought it because it's starring the creators of Smosh, Anna Little Smosh, Anthony Padilla, and Ian Hancox. Also starring Chevy Chase. So, so it's high quality. I, I had to. And someone named Genix Pen, and it's like an at, at Genix Pen, that's her name. Like a YouTuber. Oh, maybe so, she has her OnlyFans. I, I bet, I bet it's going to be amazing. Oh, shh. All right. I got this Rescue Rangers plush. I've seen this before, but I, I don't see him with the Hawaiian short often. People lose that. So. All right. It was a good day.